Hello friends and welcome to Dirt Road Diva. I'm so glad to have you here today. We're doing something a little bit different. You may be wondering, and rightfully so, what in the world is Christina doing with a dog on her kitchen counter and a box of cookies beside it? I wanted to bring you a video about ideas that you can do if you have a loved one in a nursing home. I know that a lot of my viewers are about the same age that I am and a little bit older also, and you may be facing the same thing that I am facing, which is having a loved one in a nursing home. It's not a situation that any of us want to go through, and we certainly do not want that for our loved ones, but sometimes it is unavoidable. But there's a few things that you can do to make the nursing home experience and the room a little bit more enjoyable for your loved one. So that brings me to the first thing that I want to share with you today, which is this adorable little puppy that looks so much like my little Phoebe. This puppy is a little bit heavier than a standard stuffed toy. And I don't know if you can pick it up, but let me scoot a little bit closer. She's actually very realistic looking, especially right in the face. I bought this little dog on Amazon, and if it's just what you are looking for, I will put a link in the About section of the video where you can purchase these items. Something that seems so basic to us as adults really means the world to an elderly person. And this will give them a feeling of comfort and help fill that void. Now, when we talk about comfort, of course, we cannot forget comfort foods. In my grandmother's case, she is not eating very well at all. And all those sugary sweets are not what we want to be consuming all the time. If that's the only thing that they are going to eat, then bring them some sugary sweets. And if they have good eating habits aside from that, then this is just going to be something nice that they can access in their room without having to wait until designated times. When we're in our homes, we like to get snacks when we want to get snacks without having to ask permission and without being told it's time for them. And so having something as simple as a little snack canister is a great idea. Now I have this here just for a visual. What is great about this container is that it seals up nice and tight and it's not breakable. But what would be even better is if you took a clear container in the room. And that is what I did for my grandmother. I took a clear Rubbermaid type of container and I wrote on it her name and snacks. And that allows her to remember and see what's inside there, out of sight, out of mind and something that's not see-through like this, it may be that someone that is getting very forgetful will not even think to look in here. Now, as far as snacks, Dollar Tree is a great place to go and load up on affordable snacks. Here for $1.25, we got a 10 pack of mini chocolate chip cookies. So the nice thing about these is they're just like single serving size, but there's several pieces in here. And so it keeps our hands busy for a little while, but also you don't have a big container of open cookies. So when this serving is gone, then the rest are still fresh. In addition, you may want to mix it up and put some of their favorite snack cakes, like Little Debbie's. A lot of elderly people can't eat peanuts, but if they can, healthier snacks like peanuts and raisins or just whatever are their favorite snacks when they were at home would be a great thing to bring in for them. If sugar is a concern for you, there are a lot of great sugar-free options as well. And one that my grandmother loves is the Russell Stover sugar-free candies. My grandmother's nursing home is fine with us bringing in a mini fridge. So we did just that, and I will put a link in the comment section below where you can find one. The one that we got was really the smaller size. I thought about getting a bigger one, but honestly, she just doesn't eat enough food. And the really small one where I can put enough drinks in there for a few days is just the perfect size. Inside of her mini fridge, I have put some protein shakes, little juice boxes, and these come, I believe three for a dollar at Dollar Tree. 
and then also some Sunny D's three for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Now my grandmother also likes Pepsi, so I got some of the miniature Pepsis and I put those in her refrigerator too. If you have been inside a nursing home, you know that the walls can be very sterile. Now I did take some of her favorite pictures from her home and I hung them up in her nursing home. I felt like it's possible that there may be a time when it's not so safe really to have those glass pictures in there. So I found this on Amazon. What it is, it is pill and stick and it looks like a window frame that opens up into a beautiful scene with trees and green grass and sparkling water because outside of my grandmother's window is kind of like a, just a nothingness area. So there's nothing really pretty to look at. So I thought that this might be nice. And honestly, a lot of people with dementia, their perception of reality is diminished so much that they don't know if this is just a picture or if this is a beautiful scene outside. And either way, it will bring them joy. I thought that picture would bring the outside in. In addition, I got this little bird and I'll show you up close. It is a plastic little bird, but it looks very realistic. But if I feel like it's too loud once I get this set up in her room, I'm just gonna put a piece of tape under the speaker right here. It does require three AA batteries. We've all heard of fidget toys for kids, but this is a unique item that I found after a lot of searching and trying to think of ideas to make the nursing home a more pleasant experience for her. This is a fidget blanket. So this fidget blanket comes folded. It has like a chenille pattern on this side, and then it has a ribbed texture around the edges. As you unfold it, it has 10 different activity centers, and they all have different sensory feelings. Down in this corner, it kind of looks like a big sunshine and it is very, very soft, almost like a faux fur is what it probably would be called. This would be a great item to sit down with your loved one and explore with them. It will keep their fine motor skills tuned up a little bit more than what a normal day sitting in a nursing home would do. So when you go in, you can say, hey, grandma, let's braid this rope right here. Do you remember when you used to braid my hair? Or you could say, grandpa, let's practice zipping. I wanna make sure you're able to zip up your jacket when you go outside. This is a snap pocket. So they have that practice of snapping things also. And you could put a little surprise inside like I did. This is a vitamin C drop. I also got these from Dollar Tree and I put one in my daughter's lunch most every day. I kind of think of it as a breath mint for her. But you could put that in there or you could put a little toy, um, some money, whatever you think that your loved one would like. Maybe a little chocolate in there. Very cool item. I'm excited to see what kind of activities my daughter can do with my grandmother sitting and exploring this together and keeping her fine motor skills intact as much as we can for as long as we can. Wrapping up our video, our next item is one that was suggested to me from my grandmother's head nurse. And this is really a great idea, something that you probably think of naturally that especially elderly women like. This is a reborn baby doll. And I also got this on Amazon. I will put a link in the about section of the video. Okay, so this doll comes with its own little toy. It comes with a bottle and unboxing it together here. This is the doll. He looks very realistic and he has a weighted body. He has a cute little outfit on. He feels a lot like a newborn baby in your arms. Comes with a little pacifier also that is magnetic to his lips. Now some other things that are really helpful would be to take in a drawing pad or crayons and a coloring book to take in Play-Doh for them to work with with their hands. 
You want to make sure that they're not going to eat that Play-Doh though because it does have a really good smell. Let's be honest, as kids, some of us tried it ourselves. Another thing you may want to do is decorate their room. Bring in some beautiful bedding. Most nursing homes have a twin size bed, so you may have to go out and buy that size. We bought some beautiful bedding for my grandmother, and here's a picture of that and it really brightened up her room. I also bought a mattress pad to make her bed a little bit more comfortable and padded for her. Well, I hope that these items brought you some fresh ideas about what you can do to make your loved one's nursing home stay more enjoyable. You can't always be there, but when you can, know that the gift of your time is the very best thing that you can do. But when you're not there and you're not able to do that, Something as simple as a little stuffed dog could mean the world to your loved one and helping them get through those rough days. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.